pound for pound sports entertainment hit the like button comment below share do all of that right now for your boy it's your host f merit hit the like button hit the subscribe button for all things sports entertainment related it's your host f merit we're gonna get like to it like we always do listen man i'm sitting here thinking the perfect opportunity and i'm saying it again the perfect opportunity the thing that makes the most sense when it comes to Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford, if that fight was to happen, and I'm only talking about a fight announcement, the thing that makes sense in all regards, all across the board, is for them to announce Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford on Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. That would make the most sense. I'm talking before the main event of Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. The whole world's watching. The whole world's anticipating. They bring Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford out. Get them in the center of the ring for a face-off. And announce the official fight date. And that the deal has been done. And they make that fight for June. That would make the most sense, honestly. Look forward to that happening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm only speaking from... A perspective of I hope that, that it happens it would be the perfect scenario this will be where the most eyes are on the sport of boxing the whole world's watching and let it let, I'm gonna let it be known Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia that fight's gonna be big ladies and gentlemen I'm thinking it might do over a million pay-per-views let's be honest so if you have that much eyes on the sport and you want to take the time to help help promote other fights on the card realistically the second biggest fight next to Javante Tate Davis from Ryan Garcia would be Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford, a fight that the world has been waiting years for, a fight that has been built up, a fight that the world is ready for. Not only is it going to be a great fight on paper, but ooh, the build-up, the press conference, you know, the back and forth, the 24-7, just everything that's been in, in, in the media when it comes to the boxing fans and and what Terrence Crawford has been saying, Earl Spence is on Twitter and them going back and forth. It's going to be crazy. But the perfect opportunity for them to capitalize and, and maximize promoting the fight would be on the undercard, on the co-main event, right before the main event of, uh, of Javante Tate Davis versus Ryan Garcia. I'm not saying that is going to happen. I'm hoping that it's going to happen. To me, that makes the most sense, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's, let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. Let's really do it that way. And then guess what? When the when press conference, the, the, the post-fight press conference, this, that, and third, the both fighters, they immediately start answering questions, this, that, and third, and then they go off and they start their training camps and we make this fight happen. I'm saying in June. I'm calling it right now. I'm hoping in June. But guess what? If not... It is what it is. Keith Thurman, Earl Spence can fight or Earl Spence can come up to 154. We'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Terrence Crawford can go to 54 or Terrence Crawford can take on somebody else. I don't know, but I want that fight to happen. It's your host, F. Mayor, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. Hit the like button. I'm out.